we're finally going to tackle the, the sawmill. We're going to work on this bump. We're going to bolt it down to the concrete, screw it up, extend it, put in some rollers, put in a log feed, work on a safety uh, shield right here where the tiller is in that, that carriage some. And I got Weldon with me. He's a welder. And he says he can handle anything we have to do today. So we'll find out. We'll see. <laughs> subscriber. pounds of pressure or a phenomenal amount of strength. You would want that metal to be a, the same exact piece when you get done. There wouldn't be any voids in there where you like flat welded it like that. Yeah. So I'm going to weld the inside from the outside. Same thing when you take a plate pit. welded it on the back side from the other side. From the inside out. Now, I'll take and turn it up quite a bit more. And if you watch the back side, I'll, I'll turn that smoking red and it'll, it'll, it'll seal into it. fighting gravity the whole time you're doing that. Trying to drag it down on you. So that first rod was a 6018? Uh, 6010. 6010 5P. 5P with the 8 inch. 8 inch. The cap rod was a 
332nd, 7018. It's not the prettiest, but you can cut that plate and that plate. Definitely good enough for a sawmill. Yeah. That, that one and that one are the same piece of metal now. Through and through. Always light it to count to 1,000 and then start welding. Don't stop this.